I'm Jesse Birch. I'm Phil Bell. I'm Phil Puxley. And together we are... The Rolling Train. Train. We don't get on in for nothing. You're watching q &A with Lady K. Cause we're a rolling train wreck coming off the rails Trying to keep the train on track and train to hell Rolling train wreck up down the hill Trying to ease the thought back, I know I never will We do the best we can, but I'm a rolling train wreck, man Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I'm really excited to be sitting here and chatting with you. And um, from what I've seen online, you three are quite the characters. So <laughs> no pressure. That's always but... what you want a lady to say. You know what? You guys are quite the characters. Not fit and handsome. Well, but, you're, you're, but... you're fit and handsome, but I mean, you guys are quite the characters too. So. <laughs> Um, so no pressure, but I have high expectations for this interview, Excellent. just yeah. saying. Um, now, how did it all begin? How did the three of you come together and form the Rolling Train Wreck? Uh, I'll handle that, Pumpkin, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so I was actually touring with Puxley uh, in another project um, through Ontario, actually, a little bit. And uh, kind of, we, we started doing, realized that we had same love for bluegrass. He plays banjo, I play acoustic, right? So uh, we started writing and having fun on the road, passing the time away doing that. And then um, when we got back to town, uh, I had another, I think I was just re doing some recording. I needed a bass player, hooked up with this guy. He was rec highly recommended, Toby, you which is weird, but he was highly Thanks, recommended. Toby. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Toby. And, um, and then we did a session together, and then Phil called me out to do a little gig with him on the upright. And I'm like, upright, banjo, acoustic, that will work. Dang. Right? So we got together one day at my house, and uh, it just connected. Weren't we preparing for like one show in particular, and our first show ended up being quite a, like a success. We ended it was up the, we played the rodeo. Cloverdale Rodeo. Yeah. And we, we got selected as like a, a top performer of the weekend, and, right. and was the film we got a film yeah. crew. Joy TV. That's, That's awesome. Right. Yeah. So that was pretty, yeah. Then we knew something was special, so we just kind of kept on going from there, and it's been magical ever since. So what do you think it is um, that just resonates so well in audiences? Yeah, we just have fun. You know, yeah. we interact with ourselves, so if we're having fun, <laughs> I'd say we don't. I'd say we don't take ourselves seriously, but we take what we do really seriously. Right. And then when we're on stage, it's just we step on the gas. I like that. That's a good quote. That's a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, how do you guys keep your energy levels up? Because that must be hard on and off the stage. Yeah. What, sorry, what? The keto diet. Oh. I <laughs> practice. Uh, uh, what I call alcotherapy. It's where I, I train my immune system uh, every weekend with alcohol. Oh, and it, I like this. And it, uh, it, it responds, it's like training. It's just yes. like you beat it up and then <laughs> it gets stronger. <laughs> and she told me she would love me and she would always care. Now I'm staring out this window, I don't see it anywhere. And then she is all I ever wanted. originated um, in Vancouver so how has BC influenced your music at all oh that's a good question I think yeah Jesse oh thanks hold it close um, with two hands I, I don't know that that's a okay <laughs> um, that is a good question how has BC influenced the music um, by your boat yeah yeah I you know what I think if you if you listen to the music it's a lot of uh, uh, it's a lot of kind of like being on the road, a lot of um, uh, traveling. Traveling, yeah, and um, which we all do, right? We've done that, and a lot of songs were written or were uh, came from the road, right? That's where a lot of it kind of stemmed from. So you know, winding through the BC mountains and checking out all these cool places and towns and meeting people and stuff like that, it all comes from that, right? For sure. Two songs about trains. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody's ever been on a train, but we write about it all the time. <laughs> now, I know one of the many festivals you performed at was Burning Man mm. in Nevada, right. which is super cool. One of my good friends actually goes to that, and he was telling me about it um, earlier this year. It blew my mind. So what was it like <laughs> for you guys performing there? 
Uh, it was kind of a, a, a just a, a haze of experience. Yeah. It's it's a place where you uh, you can't really prepare yourself as much as you want to. You you end up there, and then everything kind of takes over. The vastness of the desert, the lights, <laughs> and, uh, and and just like the people and 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 the energy, and uh, it's and, and we got to play right on the on the playa stage, looking out into the darkness and the lights and the people it was awesome and lastly what is next for rolling train wreck Ooh. well i don't think we uh we've got some really cool things that are in the pipeline sorry i shouldn't mention pipeline from bc <laughs> <laughs> hi alberta how are you uh, yeah we've got some really cool things uh going on and hopefully we're going to seal that deal and uh, uh, it looks like we're going to go to Nashville and we're going to track another album which is going to be rad not necessarily track the album in Nashville uh, but uh, we're going to go down there and see what's what do I do, I do it like this? Well, I mean, it depends what you're playing <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much for chatting with me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank it was lovely, lovely yeah. meeting you guys. And you know what? You are characters. And you're also <laughs> handsome and fit. <laughs> <laughs> it's on record. Did you hear that, Mom? <laughs> I'd like to give a big shout out to the Hamilton Public Library for facilitating this interview. But actually, how did you get your name? This is all Jesse. This is his story. Two-handed story. Um, I have a That's one hand. I, I have a friend <laughs> that uh, likes to have a couple of drinks now and again. And I think we were out at the Roxy, a uh, popular Vancouver mm -hmm. nightclub. And um, stay in school. Is, stay yeah, in school. yeah. Get good grades. That's right. <laughs> and she um, was just like bouncing off the walls and all over the place. And I and I just simply said, you know what? You're a train wreck, right? And then I said, you know what? You're a rolling train wreck because you don't stop moving, right? She just kept on moving. Anyway, I kind of kept that in the, uh, in the library for a while. And then that name fits us pretty good, right? Because we all have a little bit of train wreck in us. Yeah. We all roll around. Because <laughs> we're a rolling train wreck coming off the rails. Oh, hey, have you hit the subscribe button yet? Because I'd hate for you to miss more videos like this one.